Hi, my name is Neema Wamai and I've been in the media business for almost two decades. And this is my unstuck story. The thing about me is that I'm a typical alpha personality. I'm the kind of person who likes to plan. I'm the kind of person who likes to know what is going to happen years in advance. I have plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. But God has been showing me in the last 18 months that that plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D are a complete mockery of what he expects from me. And I've learned through some very difficult lessons that the only way to get unstuck is to let go and let go. God, that is my story. Um, how do I start? I was in a situation where my career was not going the way it was supposed to go. Expectations I had were not met and I was a very angry, very frustrated person. And after my last job, I remember hearing God distinctly tell me, you need to just stop and be still. Just stop and be still and all will become clear. It's one thing for God to tell you that and it's quite another thing for you to actually do what God asks you to do. So despite God asking me to be still and even me speaking to my spiritual mentors and them telling me that they're hearing exactly the same thing, I still felt the urge to, to, to be in control of my life. So I kept on looking for jobs, kept on applying to different places, but I was not getting the roles that I was looking for. I was not getting the satisfaction that I was looking for. So it got to a point where I'll never forget, I was on my way to a, a, a social engagement and I happened to switch on my radio and the song that was playing was Hill Songs, Be Still and Know That I Am God. And this was, this was a secular station, so the chances of a secular station playing a gospel song or a, a, a worship song a second to none. That's when I realized that God actually meant business with me. So I stopped being in a hurry all the time. I stopped making all those applications and I just decided to stop looking for things, stop looking for jobs and I actually went underground. I spent more time with my Bible. I spent more time with my my spiritual, I like to call them my brothers and sisters in the PLF space. And I spent more time trying to just get to know God. And I found that the more I read his word, the more I interacted with those who knew who he was, the more revelation I got. And the more that I realized that what I wanted for myself and what God wanted for me were two very different things. What I wanted for myself was but a fraction of the plans that God had for me. So it finally came to be that after three months of being, trying to be in control of my life and in control of everything that I was doing, I just opted to let go. And letting go for me meant when somebody asked me, Neema, what are you doing nowadays? I tell them, nothing, I'm just looking after my family. Very big conversation stopper there. Or they asked me, so what are your plans going into the future? I tell them, I don't know. I'm waiting for God to reveal. And for those who've known me for any period of time, this was so unlike me. I could see people treating me as either a cautionary tale or looking at me and not being very sure how they're supposed to speak to me. But there's also that one group of people who would come and tell me, Nema, you actually look a lot more rested. You look a lot happier. You've got a glow about you. That's when I realized that it was not about me. It was about God and about his kingdom, about what he wanted for me. But for me, the real, the real breakthrough came when I was, had been at home for about 10 months. I was not looking for a job. I was at peace with where I was, with who I was. And I'd resigned myself to looking for something to do just to be able to feed my family, but I was not actively looking for a, a, a career anymore. And this job kind of like landed in my lap. I was, I was recruited by a headhunter from the UK. I was given a job description for a job that I had been dreaming about, but I never imagined I'd ever do, a regional role. And that's what I'm doing right now. So what are my lessons from this? No matter how much you think you're in control, only God knows what he has planned for you. No matter how bad you think things are, I, the book of Isaiah tells us that God is with us all the time. He never leaves us, he never forsakes us. I saw that come to pass. And no matter how great we think the reward we're going to get is, it is only a fraction of the reward that God has for us. 
So for me, that is my unstuck story. Letting go, letting God. And letting go means really letting 